What's going on everybody? This is Scott, also known as Chiching King, and today I'm going to back up an entire year and I'm going to show you what I've made on YouTube. I'm going to tell you right now, the last month is going to shock you. Whatever you think is going to happen is probably not what's going to happen. For those of you that don't know, my wife and I run an online sales business. We sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Etsy, and on YouTube, I try to teach people how to do eBay. It's a business related channel and of course that's going to come out in in the RPM. Let's go ahead and dive right into the numbers. I'm going to take you month by month. We can kind of take a look at uh, about how many subscribers I picked up and how much money I made that month and then what the RPM was and then hang on tight because this channel really grew over the last years. So the first month I'm going to share with you is uh, September of 22. And at this time, I had about 7,000 subscribers. And I picked up uh, 1,100 subscribers that month, and I made $828.06. And my RPM for that month was $22.13. And this would have been October of 22. And I picked up 1,500 subscribers. And for me, that, that feels like a lot. Uh, and I made $1,369 that month. I had 54,000 views and my RPM that month was $24.95. So if you're in the process of making a channel, business channels, they have a higher RPM. Fast forward one more month. This is November of 22. I picked up 1,800 subscribers and did almost $1,800 in revenue. I had 60, almost 68,000 views, and my RPM for that month was $26.80. And before I jump to December, something started occurring in December that started to affect my RPM. And I'll share more about that as we move forward. But uh, at first, it was just individual videos that it would impact. But let's go ahead and take a look at December. In December of 22, 1,900 subscribers. And my revenue came down a little bit to uh, about $1,550. And I had 75,000 views for an RPM of $21.63. Still an outstanding month. Look at my watch hours, 9.3 thousand. When I first started, it took me so long to get to that 4,000 hour mark. And here I doubled it in one month. All right. Now, January 2023. Look at this. I picked up 3,600 subscribers. 3,600 subscribers. Super exciting. And I made almost $2,400 and I had 137,000 views. And the RPM, though, dropped to $17.80. And there is something going on that I will share more with, but it's starting to have an impact on my channel. Still impacting individual videos. So now let's move forward to February. In February, 3,400 subscribers. Like y'all just don't know, like 3,400 in February, I had almost 140,000 views and I made $2,600. And in February, my RPM was back up a little bit to $19.23. So this for me was an outstanding month. And now we're into March. And in March, 2,800 more subscribers. I keep thinking I'm gonna run out of subscribers because there can't be that many people that wanna watch this. Uh, had 128, almost 129,000 views. And I made over $2,000 again. And, that seems like a lot of money, but my RPM in March dropped to $16.98, and that was the first month I had a notice on my channel, and that notice is going to get more serious as we go forward. Let's go to April, and that magical notice that I haven't told you what it is yet went away in April, and in April, I pick up another 2,800 subscribers, had a almost almost 140,000 views and almost almost 16,000 watch hours. That is insane. And I made $2,552. My RPM in April was $18.46. In May of this year, 
I picked up another 2,500 subscribers, 126,000 views on my channel, and I made $2,284 that month. And my RPM in May held strong at $18.13. In June, I picked up another 2,000 subscribers, 102,000 views, and made $1,970. And in June, my RPM was $19.42. I don't know for the people out there watching this, if you know what these things mean at the bottom of the screen, this is when I put out a video. And if it was a short, which I don't do many shorts, but if it was, it, it would look a little bit different. So for the month of June, I put out a total of five videos. I typically do one a week. In July, <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo. In July, I'm, <laughs> I picked up 4,000 subscribers. Like, I, I just don't even know. 4,000 subscribers, a hundred and almost 177,000 views and made almost just a hair shy of $3,400. I put out five videos that month and my RPM, because this is the second month I got a little notice that was there for one day, it dropped to 1655. This is going to get more impressive here in just a minute. So let's move on to August. In, uh, and I don't know why the graph looks different, but in August, I picked up 3,400 subscribers and I made $1,780 for 173,000 views and my RPM dropped to $10.23. On August 13th, I had this banner pop up that said, there's invalid traffic on your channel. And this time it didn't impact one video as it had been doing since the end of November of 22. It was doing one video at a time. They reduced the ad revenue across my channel and my revenue fell to $10.23 almost overnight because I had been averaging for the beginning of August much better. It was one of my best months on subscribers it was one of my best months on views. I was getting a lot of views. I've got a video that's running a little bit. And on August 13th, I got the banner. On August 14th, I my channel had been making like 110 to $115 a day, and it dropped to 20. And so I'm going to give you a quick look at September. September is, I don't know when you'll see this, but September is the month I'm in right now. I've picked up um, and today is September 26th. We're getting close to the end of the month. I picked up 2,400 more subscribers. I've had 114,000 views already, but I am at $830 for those views for an RPM of $7.54. It has fallen off a cliff. <laughs> the RPM is less than a third of what it was in October and November before I started getting hit with invalid traffic. So for those of you that are wondering, invalid traffic is people watching your channel that aren't real, like a bot. Like if you paid to have views on your channel or if you paid to have people go click on your ads uh, or if you told your family to binge watch the channel, which by the way, my family doesn't, I don't think my mom's even subscribed. Um, when you contact creator support, they link you to an article that tells you don't do that stuff. Um, but that's it. There's just like, I don't know how long it'll go on. It's been my entire channel since uh, August 13th. It was individual videos. Every time a video would start to get some traction, then I would spend probably anywhere from seven days to three weeks where the monetization of it would just drop to pennies instead of dollars. And so my RPM has dropped since November of 22 and it fell off the cliff on August 13th and it's hit a lot of people. Here's why I tell you that. Like me, you're probably interested in what YouTubers make and I feel like I, I make a lot of money in doing this. Like I said, I, I still can't believe people watch. But I became very, not reliant because I have other income streams, but I became much more reliant on YouTube and I gave it a lot of 
my attention and control at the expense of some of the others. And the lesson for me in this is you can't put your eggs in one basket. YouTube is a tremendous vehicle. I think they will eventually get this fixed. Um, they just kind of tell you don't break those rules. And I wish I had been breaking the rules because I would quit. <laughs> I would quit and let it go back up. Um, but I do feel like it doesn't benefit YouTube to have hundreds and hundreds of creators that have been impacted by this. You can spend any time at all, type in invalid traffic on, um, is it called Twitter? X? If you get on there and type in invalid traffic, you can see it's hundreds and hundreds of people that are all being hit um, almost to the day with this. I do think it will correct itself. It's demoralizing though. Look down here at the bottom of September and see how many videos I've done this month. It's been very hard for me to to do it because I still respond to every single question that I can on here. I try to talk to everybody because I'm trying to help people. But that'll give you some kind of idea. You can make really good money on YouTube. I mean, like, I'm not a YouTuber. And if I feel like if I can make money doing this, that there's some opportunity out there for people. This is the last 365 days of the channel. And just to show you what what it looks like, because I'm really proud of it. Like, I'm, I'm just a breath shy of 40,000 subscribers. And I've had 1.4 million views. Like, I, I can't even, I can't even imagine. I, I just can't even imagine that. And even though my revenue and my RPM has plummeted, I've made a lot of money doing this. It doesn't come out to a lot per hour <laughs> because I'm slow. I'm not a fast editor. But I've also had a ton of messages from people that um, that tell me that I've helped. And I think that that's probably more important than the money, even though I still need to make some money. But YouTube is exciting because I think you can reach out and depending upon what your niche is and what you're wanting to do, you can make a positive difference in other people's lives. And all I would say is financially, like for me, this is really beyond my control. I'm completely dependent on somebody else to fix this. The other thing that you need to do is to make sure that if you are doing this with the intention of, of making a living on it, that you diversify what those income streams are, that you look at affiliate marketing and that you look at some of the things like I'm in the Amazon influencer on-site video program, those kind of things so that you're not completely reliant on any one thing. I don't want to discourage anybody because this is still awesome. I appreciate those people that are always watching. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'm going to see you real soon on the next one. Bye.